Just two years ago, the Kailua Surf Riders went winless in what was head coach Holly Wong's first season taking over the program. But the K-Town Kids came back in 2015, winning their first five games and finishing 7-3 with an exit in the OIA quarterfinals. Now, after having the most successful season in recent school history, are the Surf Riders ready to go big or go home as they try to catch their first OIA championship in 15 years. This is Kailua. And this is 16 in 16. It was a huge turnaround for Kailua and head coach Haoli Wong, who was named last season's OIA Blue Coach of the Year. It's just, I just like to say, you know, this kind of football, you know, is on the rise. You know, we're, we're, we're back, you know, and, and we've we had a we had about a, a nine year span where, you know, it was, it was we were kind of in the middle of the pack. Um, and, you know, we weren't we, we were up below 500. But right now, I mean, the, the kids bought into our system. They believe what they can do and they believe that they can they can compete with the best. So, I mean, you know, a couple plays here and there, turnovers here and there you know, we, we might be in a different predicament than we were last year. And, and this year, we're going to build off of that from the first year, 0-7. Last year, you know, we, we, I challenged them to shave off one loss from last year. So, you know, who, who knows what's going to happen this year. A huge part of the surf rider's success last season was due to the quarterback play of Noah Ald, who threw for the most touchdowns in Division I. But now, dropping in will be senior quarterback Keone Serikawa Jr. It's honestly a big jump because after being a backup for him, but also learning his ways could help me step up for this year. I mean, he's, he's, he's right there, but he has to deal with me every day on a regular basis. And the reason why I'm so hard on him, like I tell him every day, I said, you know, you rather me be hard on you or you want, or, or, or you want the game to be hard for you. So if you can handle me for four days and we play on a Friday night, the game's gonna be, you know, be a piece of cake on Friday. You know, we're confident uh, in him and, and, and the line that's in front of him, uh, we'll, we'll have, you know, we're just blessed here at Kailua that we do have linemen year in and year out. Uh, receivers, we, you know, we lost some last year, but you know, we, we'll, we'll surprise a lot of people with what we have here. I have a lot of different options, but mainly Hapaki, Kupahu Phillips, that's gonna be one big one. Tanner Wright, and then Mark Lagazzo coming out of the backfield. I don't think we're doing that much to change, but we just gotta keep going. Keep pushing. We um, surprised them last year and that they're going to come back for us this year. We have a lot of pride because we're all strong and we all trust in each other. We play for each other. Returning on defense will be arguably the best defensive end in the state. OIA Blue Defensive Player of the Year and first team all Hawaii selection, Christian Mejia. He's a beast. I call him the beast. He's the freak. I mean, any he's, he's just something. I mean, that's... It's his defense. You know, the, we have a defensive coordinator, but I told him that's Christian's defense. So he understands his role. He's our leader. Everybody looks up to him and um, everybody should fear him. <laughs> he doesn't say much, but in the game, he says a lot. In the game, you, you'd be amazed how much he talks out there um, and, how, and how much he, he commands his defense to play at that level that he does. And he just raises that bar for everybody else to play at that level. Same as last year and coming full on and taking one game at a time. From my corners, holding up the receivers for the quarterbacks, um, not have that passing fast and just giving me time to get there. I'm going to try um, up, up last year's and get eight more wins this year and try to beat them last year. You look, you just look at Kaoku. Kessio is going to, he's going to go play linebacker. And, and having a team like that and one of their best players has to go two ways. To me, I tell them here at Kailua, is, it's, it's an honor for you to go both ways. Um, if, if we're asking you to play both ways, you must be damn good to be a part of that best 11 on that field. Um, but they'll come in. You know what I mean? Lagazo will come in. Um, Mejia will come in and it's down in distance. And, you know, guys will interchange. Tagupo will probably come in and play, play some O-line for us in certain packages. And that's how Kailua football has always been. Not big on numbers. But they're going to compete. I, I challenge them to compete against each other. And the surf riders continue to ride the wave of success. Kailua starts the OIA season August 13th against Moanalua. Spencer Honda, scoringlive.com.